two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter inches. And now we've got a special, I don't want to say interruption, but uh, John Wilburn has come up with an excellent idea. At least I think it's an excellent idea. And I thank you, John, for uh, bringing me into the fold with this. I'm going to interrupt what I was doing with the other projects. And the uh, I, I do have the green block ready to mill, but there's a more important thing going on because time is getting you know close to the end before everyone gets to the No Name Nationals. And Mopar Joe has uh, a unit that he's running and he's already testing on the track. And John thought perhaps he could give a uh, a shot at one of my spacer plates. So I've gone ahead uh, through talking to John and and uh, an okay from Joe that uh, I'm going to build a two inch spacer plate for Joe and we'll try it on his car because he's not running a spacer plate at the moment. And what I'm going to also do with the spacer plate is include something that I was going to kind of throw out at the world later on and that is um, some cooling items uh, kind of a built-in cooling situation for this for the spacer plate and we all know aluminum uh, conducts heat and cold quickly and very well so rather than trying to approach it from the point of the phenolic style spacers where they just insulate uh, insulate the carburetor or try to and of course you know you get a little um, you get a little uh, transference of heat from the from the uh... sorry I was interrupted there uh, that permanent visitor was outside and I had to make sure that he was going to find the right way anyway uh, what we're going to do is not only give the volumetric capacity an increase of two inches through the spacer plate, uh, I'm going to try to throw my own style of, of surface cooling to try to drop the temperature of or allow the temperature of the manifold as it's coming up through the studs and through the manifold itself to cool off just underneath the base of the carburetor. And I think that's going to help uh, you know, help that condensation, help, um, not condensation, help the uh, atomization be more dense and therefore allow him to get even more, uh, more fuel down inside of that extended volumetric capacity. So what I'm going to do is show you a piece of metal. I had ordered this stock of aluminum and it came in much bigger than I had ordered. Um, my thanks to those folks who who uh, sent that but it's too big for my milling machine so what I'm going to do is uh, take this over to Profile Machine Works over in Manassas and have them cut it down for me and while it's there I'm just going to have Martin uh, the machinist over there uh, it's a CNC machine shop by the way it's not an automotive machine shop so hopefully he can do this for me uh, he'll cut that out cut out the center and I'll take the, uh, the cut pieces home and I will work on the cooling side of it on my machine. I'll, it'll be small enough for me to, to manipulate at that point. And there's enough stock left that I can make a 2 inch 2 barrel spacer plate. Uh, 318 will run call your office maybe. Let's see what happens. And uh, let me show you the plate first. All right, so here's the plate. As you can see, there's a huge amount of extra space here. So I'm going to have him uh, save me all of this and all of this. Um, gosh, this 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 alone is about nine and a half, almost ten inches long, and uh, and this is six inches. So the whole thing here is like seven and a half inches, which that. Would have been able to go on my machine. I'd have been able to handle that. But this, 
I can't handle it's too big on my machine. So we'll see if uh, Martin can cut that out for me. And uh, I might even have him punch the holes. You know what the heck. I didn't use any uh, layout fluid on this. Uh, I'll let him do it if he wants to do it. If not, then I'll bring it home and, and try to suffer. We'll see what I can do with my machine if Martin can't handle it. So, But I think he can. Alright, so I'll take it over to the shop and see what happens. Thanks for watching.